MSI 2022 laptop launched at CES 2022 and well it was standard procedure cause MSI has for the past few years followed the if it ain't broke don't fix policy. But for this year a few devices have gone through some changes. They also extensively reworked the Creator Series lineup but importantly with the 12th gen Intel's update and the RTX 30 Ti series mobile GPUs, a lot of the MSI gaming laptops for this year will be making a titanic performance leap. So let's go over the updates for 2022 and I will give some of my pointers as well. We will get a detailed look of each of the models at a later date so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon while you're at it and let's get started. We'll start off with something I noticed first before going into the main points. Keen fans of MSI at CES 2022 event would have noticed them mentioning the GT Titan lineup right at the start of the event. Hope I'm not thinking too much into this, but this is big news as MSI is resurrecting what was thought to be a dying breed of desktop CPU laden laptops. If there is one in the works, expect it to have a 12th gen Intel i9K series processor or even the newer KS series processor. We should hear more about this sometime during the summer if MSI is working on something like that. With that out of the way, take a look at the MSI gaming lineup for 2022 and well the chart shows how the MSI laptop lineup works. I have made a video before linked in the description explaining the whole 2021 lineup. It's pretty much the same lineup for 2022, albeit a name change for some of the laptops. But yeah. Anyways. The big news is the introduction of a new cooling interface for the CPU called Phase Change Liquid Metal. It's basically a mixture of indium, bismuth and tin and an interesting characteristic of tin carries over here which means no maintenance is required for long periods of time. It's a much needed boost for MSI's reliability stats. However, it's only available on high-end i9 laden laptops so the GE and the GS series only. So the top of the line GE Rider series starting with the GE76, 17 inch model which gets the i9-12900HK and up to RTX 3080 Ti that can boost up to 175 watts with dynamic boost, 10 watts more than the RTX 3080. What more, with the MSI's overboost technology, you can now get the 175 watt boost with the full 45 watts from the i9 CPU. And this overboost function works throughout the lineup now. This does mean the RTX 3080 Ti G76 version requires a 330 watt power adapter which adds to the already heavy weight. For the GE66, the entire lineup's GPU is locked at 150 watts now because of the 15 inches cooling limitations but that is still 10 watts more than last year. You should have an OLED option later in the year as well for the GE66. Anyways, the RTX 3070 Ti 150 watt with dynamic boost replaces the RTX 3070 140 watt version in some markets now but the RTX 3080 versions will still be available with 12 gen CPUs. I might have mixed up Ti and Ti in certain instances, sorry about that, I'm still getting used to that. I don't think I have to mention DDR5 RAM and PCI Gen 4 SSD, it's now standard for every high end 12 gen Intel laptop. Moving on to the GS Tel series and well the 17 inch is now called the GS77 as it gets a major redesign and it's now the best looking MSI laptop that MSI has made in a long time. The hinge design especially mimics an older HP Omen laptop and I love it. Still hate the fact that HP moved away from it but glad MSI took it up. You also get a 6 speaker system with 4 subwoofers instead of 2 and this will make it the best speaker system in a gaming laptop easily. You still get the same display options as before for both the GS77 and GS66 12 gen laptops. The max CPU option is likely the i9 12900H and the GPUs now get a 10 watt boost from last year throughout the entire range for both the laptops. Just a note though, the GS66 is still last year's design so no cosmetic changes to the 15 inch model and no newer speaker system. We will ignore the Stealth 15M cause there wasn't anything on the website and during CS 2022 event, MSI presenters just skimmed over it. So the GP Vector series, new name but no other major change to it. So it's basically a budget GE Raider series like the Leopard series was last year. Well for that you lose out on Thunderbolt 4, RTX 3080 Ti and possibly the i9-12900HK processor with the max being the i9-12900H. You also don't get the face change liquid metal um, on the Vector series in any of the laptops below this. They have kept the mini display port but you now get the much needed type C port as well so that's a good thing. However, initial shipments will arrive with DDR4 RAM instead of DDR5. Not sure why but that's just the case and maybe it might change by the time they start shipping on February. You still get the 240Hz Full HD display which is the all round best Full HD display you can get out there for a laptop and a 240Hz QHD option as well. 
As mentioned before, the Vector GP66 gets the 164Hz QHD instead, so yeah. Finally, the Crosshair GL, which gets a redesign, and well, it needed the redesign because there wasn't anything separating it from the Pulse series. Apart from that, the Katana GF, the Sword, and the Pulse all get the standard upgrade expected, with slight bump in GP wattages here and there, like the ones mentioned before in the higher end laptops. And obviously, 12th gen Intel CPUs. These are also stuck with DDR4 RAM and HDMI 2.0, but while HDMI 2.0 is going to be the case for these, the DDR4 RAM situation might change before February. Finally, just a small skim over the creator series. You now have a 17 inch 16x10 option, so it's a Z17 and Z16P. You get a QHD plus 16x10 165Hz display, and it's also a true pixel display, which is MSI's way of saying it has everything all the color gamut requirements, all the creator requirements for a display, so brightness, etc. etc. In order to keep up with the MSI Creator Z17, in a smaller package, the MSI Creator Z16P gets vapor cooling, which I think is the first MSI laptop ever to be fitted with the solution. However, you still have the standard Creator Z16 with 120Hz display, so you have the cheaper option as well. That's all the laptops MSI covered during CS 2022, and I will go more in detail about the Creator series and each of the gaming laptops in future videos, so don't forget to subscribe for more juicy content and until then, go ahead and check out my other videos and see you soon.